Hello friends and YouTube subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane with another uncut, unedited video with no bull, just truth. Today it's a part two series about Powerwall. I'm sorry, today is a windy day. Where we live it's quite windy, so it's nothing I can do about it. Usually I uh, uh, film my videos inside, but today I would like to show you installation and first year journey with our Powerwall. So, Thank you for watching this video. If you like uh, what it's all about, if you would like to see other videos on the channel, please feel free to subscribe, hit that notification button so you won't miss any videos. And also, uh, that's the part two that we are um, filming today. There will be part three as well. And also you can watch part one. I'll put uh, a link uh, in the description below. So, first year journey. It starts with installation. Uh, we've been early adopters and um, early in Australia. So in America, this product uh, was available for a couple of years. Uh, in Australia, it just started. And as early adopter, we always had concern how long it will take from moment of order until uh, we can get it installed. So the rumors on the internet and forums pointed between one to two years which was ridiculous time to wait um, and we were afraid that it will basically happen to us but you know what it was surprisingly we had um, battery and the whole setup installed within three months from a moment of order the second bit that we're a little bit worried about is professional installation. What do you mean by professional installation is when people, when they put product in, they not only do it well, they also comply with all rules, regulation and specification of the product. Because product was relatively new, uh, I was a little bit um, afraid that we couldn't get people that would have enough um, experience and exposure to uh, installations and wouldn't get uh, you know a, I don't know tips and tricks that usually come with every product and um, you know what it, it probably was one of the most pleasant experiences not the company that we not only the company we chosen did really good job but also because the please watch my first video where I explain that Queensland government had um, our state government had uh, uh, subsidized this battery so regulations how to install battery and quality and final uh, product as working uh, battery heavily um, inspected by Queensland government independent inspectors and guess what he had to come back a couple of times and point on imperfections but to be honest um, he was really picky I would say nothing to do with battery or functionality it just um, um, regulations like uh, uh, missing stickers as you can see uh, I'm not sure how stupid people need to be to smoke near the battery or, or drop it but you know you've got those stickers that part of rules and regulations that need to be done and because stickers were still under development um, installers had to come back and install those stickers so um, Honestly, installation process went quite quick and and, and also by the way, I'm, I'm standing near the battery uh, Please watch my video until the end because I also show the second part of installation which is gateway so battery uh, Basically contains the battery itself cooling system and uh, I guess all the electrics However, the brain what I call brain of battery is on the other side which uh, tells Tesla called uh, gateway right so as part of the journey but not really part of um, um, what I wanted to touch but I think it's important to know for people that planning to install it it's very looking slim and flimsy not flimsy but you know very petite battery guys this battery is truly 125 kilos um, those installers had um, uh, pretty good workout after installing this battery. It is pretty heavy. Make sure that you install it on a sound structure and um, you know, it, it won't fall down or anything because it, it is heavy, right? So, um, as part of installation, installers had to um, configure battery. So, battery basically has electrical parts and logical parts. 
and this is where I'll mention it later but um, in my third part but uh, make sure that your Wi-Fi or your internet system is ready to be connected to battery uh, when we install battery it wasn't compulsory now it is compulsory if you do not provide Wi-Fi and not connecting battery to the internet uh, Tesla would void your warranty it's quite a serious thing and not to be sneezed at right so also when we order the battery we had choice between uh, uh, test like getway it's basically all the logic between version 1 and version 2 um, I looked in the specifications I'm not going to list them now please go to Tesla website to see what's the difference in the specifications but we chose uh, getway 1 uh, because everything that we want the battery to do um, functions well with getway uh, version 1 getway version 2 much prettier box much more capable no benefit to us and cost one thousand dollars more so we decided to opt out for version one so all right let's go and quickly have a look um uh, uh getaway box and see if um um what it looks like so to be honest unlike um um getaway uh two the getaway one is pretty unremarkable uh basically you've got um, a lot of logic boards inside You've got Wi-Fi card inside, you've got relays, you've got um, GSM module, which basically, as you can see, there's a two GSM antennas on top. So um, the SIM card that comes with Tesla is 3G. So if your area is not, does not have good 3G signal, uh, it might be a problem, all right? So when your Wi-Fi drops out, Tesla would not cancel your warranty. That's not a concern. Uh, it will default back to 3G and still talk to Tesla. However, if you have a bad 3G reception and your Wi-Fi is not good, I think you need to talk to Tesla before you install battery and let them know your concerns. Because if they cancel your warranty, um, I wouldn't risk it. Um, it's a great product, but if it fails, it will cost you a lot of money. So this is Getaway Box. And the reason why it's installed here, not outside, because it's a lot of electronics there, sensitive equipment. Um, the Tesla Powerwall 2 is basically waterproof and, and, and could be installed anywhere. When this box, it's totally breathable and need to be installed indoors. So they're actually opposite one another. And I think it's quite neat installation and also it sits uh, uh, very close to our inverter. By the way, uh, please comment below if you're interested to understand how a uh, non-hybrid system is connected to uh, uh, Powerwall 2. I'll, I can make another video. I can actually, actually make another video about uh, Fronio system and panels. Uh, but today video is about Tesla Powerwall 2 and Gateway. So this is the Gateway. Uh, Getaway version 1. Okay, let's go back to Powerwall. So, by the way, there's a meter box here and this is the uh, uh, battery itself. So, first year journey. What, what happened is, um, after installation, um, a Queensland government had to uh, certify battery so they can pay installers money. What went wrong? Installers had to come three times back so they had to replace that uh, lead in tube so that tube was not up to queensland government standard um i'm not sure why conju i mean conju pipe so they had to redo that also they had to replace uh one or two stickers and put new ones and they had to put another relay or, or um, safety switch in the in the electrical box also, there's some clips we're missing inside the uh, power wall to itself. I, I, I'm not sure whether those electrical clips come in with uh, battery or it's separate as part of installation. I'm not sure, but three times they were here. Finally, uh, inspector came and uh, certified the battery. So that's installation part. What about operation? Um, we had this battery for now for one year two months and basically while we had only one fault it took time to understand and troubleshoot that fault um, so the first time uh, when we spotted fault it was um, 
like brief one second power outage and when we start talking to neighbors we realize uh, our neighbors did not have power outage and then and kind of clicked in that the battery basically is a source of truth for our household um, electricity so if we're losing power not that we lost it from a grid we lost battery feed so I reported back to installers who in, uh, reported back to Tesla Tesla analyzed all the logs and say um, look um, we cannot find any problem um, keep keep doing what you're doing there's no problem with the battery uh, look I wasn't pleased with the result but you know and guess what uh, it's once off and if it would continue I would persist uh, in, in following through so a month later we had brownout and brownout is basically um, instability in power feed not that we lost power I think either voltage dropped or frequency dropped I don't know what but we felt that electronic devices restarted so I logged another fault directly with Tesla and after two three weeks of uh, quite intense talking and persisting because they denied all you know there's anything wrong with the battery uh, I call up installer and say look mate um, if you don't resolve the problem uh, I would have to um, go and talk to Queensland government so I didn't have to threaten but you know I just was so frustrated with uh, um, the Tesla did not help and I apologize to Tesla employees I, I wasn't rude or anything but <laughs> indeed it wasn't Tesla fault look it was but it wasn't um, so there is a connector see that uh, conju in that's actually main power feed in power feed out it goes to connector that connects internals of the battery to external feed that connector I'm not sure whether it's Tesla supplied or um, installer supplied but uh, because of the amount of power it was arcing and burn out so it let's say it was not designed good enough to withstand or to withstood the loads of this battery in and out so installer came we replaced that connector and since then basically um, everything works well um, so I still and, and will install and say that um, what well, we report to Tesla what happened so I'm not sure whether it's actually installers fault or Tesla fault uh, pure speculation but uh, I trust Tesla that the login system the troubleshooting system is robust enough to say there's nothing wrong with our battery and they were quite honest and responsive to be honest um, the only thing is um, most of the time I'm talking to Tesla America and uh, the first line of defense um, just log in the jobs they've got no idea what I'm talking about I guess it's everywhere so um, no ill feelings there now um, I would like to conclude my first year of ownership honestly most of the time I even forget that I've got battery uh, I forget to the point where once a month I would check log files it's not really log file uh, the report on, on Tesla monitoring system it's uh, very simple yet addictive uh, and one of the reportings is uh, power outages or what they call backups and I just realized that one night in the middle of the summer we had outage of 3 hours 27 minutes and I only discovered a couple of weeks after actually it happened by watching logs that night we had three air conditioners working uh, and no one knew that we lost power so that's actually quite amazing um, I will create separate video on um, basically uh, thoughts forward what you should consider if you decide to buy or decide not to buy and my five cents worth of opinion and my third part of the video where I put some numbers in as um, whether it's worthwhile getting it financially um, how it works for our household and, and and so on today I just want to show the battery itself 
the gateway and uh, snippets of solar system to understand if there is an interest for people to see how it all connects together so so far guys the journey is quite positive um, I've got no regrets that we purchased it I'm not discussing uh, viability or uh, if we make any money out of it I would tell you that if today I would have choice to decide whether we get in power or not if I wouldn't have one I would get it but it needs to be subsidized full cost of the device really hard to justify in Australia as a as a good investment again Thank you so much for watching. Please watch uh, part one of this video and soon I'll be creating uh, part three with first forward. Comment down below if you're interested in knowing anything or you would like me to get, create any other videos on this subject. And also, as token of appreciation, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button uh, so we can promote those uh, knowledge-like videos uh, for others to to learn to understand and make their own decisions thank you so much for watching work from brisbane until next time